was volunteering on the soup run recently in Plymouth when I spoke to uh, a gentleman who says, I'm in work, I come to the soup run because I spend my wages on giving my kids a meal, then I put them to bed, and once I know they're asleep, I come to the soup run so I can get some food. That is utterly shameful. Food security matters even more than it has done because food is becoming more insecure for so many people. In Britain and around the world, food prices up, food poverty up, and the government's food strategy delayed yet again. Jack Munro argued successfully and powerfully that the food prices and the inflation is greatest for some of the food that costs the least, which is having a bigger impact on the budgets for people who have the least. There was some progress about that, but not enough has happened from there. It's getting harder and harder for people to be able to afford food. Food security is not just an issue for those people that bang on about farming, like myself and the gentleman that has just spoken. We need to make sure that it is put into plain English and put further up the political league table. There are now more food banks in this country than there are branches of McDonald's. And let's be clear, each of those food banks, those emergency food provisions, the food larders, are testament to the generosity and kindness of that community. But every single one of them should not exist. Because we should have a system where everyone can afford to feed themselves, can afford the energy to cook that meal, and the housing that goes with it. I would think there's a good argument now for a right to food, for a plan for food security, a plan to grow more food here, and a plan to help food, energy, and make food and energy more affordable. If we don't do that, more families will slip into hunger and poverty.